What's up guys, this is your boy Cybersoft from Bitcoin Talk coming with another video of an ICO called Banta Network. So in the last four videos we discussed about what is Banta Network, what exactly the Banta Network is according to the executive summary of the Banta Network. So and also we also look at the white paper. What we have discussed about what the Banta network is, what are the problem and solution that is going to solve in the cryptocurrency industry at the moment. And we also look at the two king cells of the Banta network. We also look at why people should buy Banta tokens. I will also look at the benefits of buying Banta tokens. So this is also this are uh, all this uh, on the first video, and the token sell having to be in the second video, and in the third video we we'll also look at the technology behind the Banta network, the intelligent network platform, the network framework banter architecture and so on so this was in the third video and in the third video we look at the roadmap of the banter network when the banter network was started and where are we heading at the moment so in this video which is the fifth video and the final video we are going to look at the team of the Banta network. I always tell my subscribers to always look carefully at the team of every ICO after reading the word paper and see whether it is interesting or not. Once you read the word paper of every ICO and see the ICO is very interesting so the second thing to look is the team members the team members are they legit and professional to handle the ICO that they are trying to conduct or they are just some scammers or line scammers trying to run away with people's money so in this final video we are going to look at three things both team partners and q a frequent ask questions so let's start looking at the team let's start by looking at the team so if you look at the team the first guy you are going to see is ryan ceo ceo and founder of this banter network what are his experience and qualifications? If you look at his experience, you can see Oracle, Jafak, Highly Tracked Enterprise, Voice Local Panda. And what are his qualifications? BSc in Computer Science, USA University. So this is the founder. And here is the technical lead. So Adrian Fak technically and what are his experience SDK planet game retail communications founder and what are his qualifications MSc in computer science CU National University CU National University okay this is South Korea okay so sometimes it's not about the four pile images experiences and education the major thing to look after the profile image is the LinkedIn profile. I always tell people to look at the LinkedIn profile. Don't trust any link that is coming from Facebook or Twitter. So once someone is a professional person, he's going to link his profile with his LinkedIn profile. So actually, when looking at the team of every ICO, make sure the CEO and the team members link their images with 
the LinkedIn profile because the Facebook and Twitter are not the professional are not the website for professions, but LinkedIn is a platform for the professional guys. So LinkedIn profile is a sign that these guys are legit not some people that are trying to run away with people's money. So Martin and the third guy that we are going to look at is Martin John Data Scientist. His experience is Terra Data HQ headquarter. That means uh, and the second is Amazon Web Services HQ and Oracle. This guy also has great experience. He worked with Terra Data, Amazon and Oracle. What are his qualifications? MSc in data science, comma big data at University UC Berkeley. So MBA at Carnegie Mellon, Carnegie Mellon University. Lucas MSc and MBA at the same time. So this is a big deal. And the fourth guy is Professor Inui Joe, PhD, head of head of R and D research and development experience professor at the Department of Computer Science in Hanyang University, Belco Lab, Telcodia, Oak Ridge National Laboratory. This guy is a professor. So, what are his qualifications about education? He has a PhD in electrical and computer engineering at Georgia Tech. So this guy is also another good son because he is a professor. So and here are the advisors. So you see Choi advisor experience BP of Microsoft Korea. Secondly, senior director of Oracle Korea. So he has experience in two different places, Microsoft and Oracle, both from Korea. And here is another advisor. Her name is Alexander, technical advisor, experience, rocket foil, rocket foil, BC advisor, blood type co founder, team carriers co founder, education, BS in electrical and computer engineering from Kanjimala University. Okay, this one is also looking great. And here is oops, this one defect is not logic. Let me try. Okay, so here is Another guy named Chen Lan Choi, advisor. He's also an advisor. And here is another one, Heidi Chen. Let's look at the profiles also. This one has experience in Oracle, APAC, Oracle, JPAC. So, regional head and regional head. He also wrote the Asian Pacific and Japan Pacific. So, his education MBA from Graduate School of Business at Hanyang University. And this guy also, Harry Chung, advisor. They both have their own making profile in front of their, just in front of their faces, just below their name. So this guy has experience at DFG, at NCEO. Secondly, CoinFlow, Inc. Investor and advisor, education, MSc in business administration from Seoul National University. So these guys, they all look legit without any problem. So the team looks pretty amazing. So there is no any problem with the team. So the second team we should look at is also here is the team image. Before we get to partners, you can see them here. They are about 20 something guys working with Banta Network. So, this is their staff, and I don't think we should list all the images. 
So the first one, very big image with everyone inside it. So let's look at the partners below. So here are the partners of Bantan Network. The first one is Hanyang University. The second one is Oracle, Cloud by Microsoft, Voice Local, Say John Telecom, Ibit, Okims, Rocket Fuel, Kasharis, Maker, Quapchan, and finally Quinfinit. These are all partners of the Bantanet. There are about 12 different companies and blockchain technology providers. So I think they are going to build a great product at Bantan Network. So top partners is a huge milestone. So getting one partner is a great deal and a huge work. There is a huge work involved in getting a single partner. These guys has about 12 different partners. And some of them are companies like Oracle and Microsoft and Floss Maker here and Quartian below. And these guys are real here. Now let's look at the QA below. So here you can find frequently asked questions and our answers. So the first question is what is the price of each? BNT token. So each BNT token costs only 8.8 pennies US dollars. So the second question, which is B, is token sell. BNT are ERC20 tokens that will be swapped native BNT tokens after the main net launch. Secondly, 35% of the tokens will be sold. Unsold tokens will be bound. Thirdly, regarding more detail about the tokens, please contact official at Banta Network. So, this is all about tokens. And the third question, what is the hard cap? And the Bantan Network, the hard cap is between million dollars. That is the hard cap. The Bantan Network. So this is the Q and A. It only contains three questions, and they have answered the questions in a minimal way without putting so much English in it. So. This is pretty good, and this is the end of the website. You can join their community by subscribing with your email, and so on. So, guys, this is going to be the end of this video. We look at the team members of the Banta Network, from CEO to the team of advisors to the image of entire members of the Banta network and followed by the partners they have about 12 different partners and the last thing we look at is sorry the last thing we look at was the q and a so this is the end of this video guys and this one is the last video for Banta network so guys thank you for watching so see you on another video